In this video, I'm going to show you two ways to scallop in Digital Scrapbook Artist 2. The first is pretty easy. You have your image on your blank page. Left click on it to select it. Go to the top of the screen. Left click on the scissors icon. Now you've got the punches underneath. I'm right over here. You're going to left click and you can see some pre-selected punch shapes for you. So of course you can use any of these shapes and you can cut out any portion of your image that you want, but if you're scalloping you really want to have an area that's at the edge of your image. So in this case you need to find a shape that corresponds to the image on your screen. Since I've got something that's round I can easily select the round tool. So I'm going to just go over here and make this just a little bit smaller and just sort of place it right around here. Next I'm going to go to my scissor type and what I want to do is pull down this tab you can select perhaps bump, but I'm going to use double bump because that looks like fun. And over here I now have this really nice pattern that I can easily cut out. Now the only drawback is I have no way of making these bumps much bigger. If I were to try to go over here, all I can do is move this up and down so it goes this way. It doesn't help me much. And over here I can of course move this smaller or larger if I wanted to, but I can't expand the size of the bumps. You do have some sliders over here, but if you just slide these down, all they're going to do is rotate it. And if you use this slider over here and move it down, all it's going to do is open up this area. So I'm going to put this right back up. And now all I need to do is click on my cut using my left mouse button. Of course, if you wanted to, you could go in here, you could press cut again. But what I like to do after I press the initial cut is go to the top of the screen and click on select. And what that does, it turns off the scissors. Then I can left click once off of my image so it's no longer selected. And then I can click on it again and move it out of the way. And this way, if there's these tiny little pieces, I don't have to worry about them because I can just grab them all in one shot and press delete. Now this is pretty nice the way that it is, but what if you wanted to create your own scallop shape and you wanted to have a little bit more control over it? Let me just delete this and show you another way of doing it. I'm going to take this image back and place it onto my page and I want to make a copy of this. So I'm going to hold down the control key on my keyboard and I'm going to click on the image and hold down my left mouse button and now I'm going to drag it, let go of my left mouse button and now let go of my control key. For this next portion, you need to know how to create your own brushes. If you don't know how, I do have a video on my YouTube channel. It's called Digital Scrapbook Artist Make Your Own Brushes. Once you follow that, you'll know how to do the next step. So basically all I did was I went into Shapes, I selected this shape, I held down the Shift key on my keyboard, and using my left mouse button, I drew a perfectly round shape. I went over here, I sent color fill to the front, and I color filled it black, and then all I did was turn that into a brush. So I'm just going to undo this. I'm going to go right back over here, I'm going to select this image, and now all I need to do is go into my newly created brush, and I'm going to click on it once. Go to the top of the screen and you're going to click on line, and over here you want to make your line thicker. So I'm just going to move this over to the right hand side, and as I do that, you can see that the circle on my image is getting much larger. Once you're happy with it, all you need to do is go over here, click on Convert to Curves, and then you're going to go to Color, and you've got your image filled already with its own image shape. So I'm just going to bring that to the front, and what I want to do is left click on the color black. Now while this is still selected, I'm going to go to Tools at the top of the screen and click on Convert to Bitmap. Leave everything the way that it is with the two check marks, click on OK. Give it a second or two. And now if you wanted to, you've got this as a bitmap. So if you like the shape, maybe you want to use it again in the future, you can drag this over into your embellishments and later on you can save it as a digikit. But for now, I've got it in here if I ever want to use it again. I'm going to make this a little bit smaller and I'm going to place it on top of my image. You want to make sure that it doesn't go over your image. Then you just hold down your left mouse button outside of the shape and keeping it down, you're just going to drag an imaginary box around both images. Go to the top of the screen, click on Arrange, Crop, and you're going to crop to the top item. And there we have it. We have a very quick scallop shape that we made. 
and of course if you wanted to you could left click on this go right over here and you can click on your shadow tool and you can make yourself a shadow and you can see it has the corresponding scallops now one thing I do want to show you let me just delete this is if you come across an image such as this which is uh, one of the free kits in Digital Scrapbook Artist 2 that you can download from the Daisy Trail website You'll notice that when you click on it, it now has the word ungroup underneath. And that's just because this is not a one layer image, it's got three layers. So if you go over into your layers tab and you expand this, you can see you've got one star right here, you've got another quick star over here, and then of course you've got your bitmap. So now all I'm going to do is just click on this again. I'm going to click on ungroup and I'm going to select both of these stars. I'm just going to move them out of the way, but because they're kind of hard to see, I'm going to color fill them red. That way I know that they're there. Next thing I want to do is go over here. I want to click on this image, and you'll notice that it's got a shadow. So first I want to find out if this shadow is actually in the bitmap itself, or if it's added to the bitmap. To do that, all I'm going to do is go up to the top of the screen while the image is selected and click on the shadow tool and then go over to the left hand side and click on remove shadow. So I no longer have a shadow, this is perfectly fine. If I did have a shadow, I'd have to convert the image because it wouldn't work well on shadows doing a scallop. Now all I need to do basically is create my copy and then of course I'm going to go back to my brushes. I'm going to select my brush make my line a little bit thicker until I'm happy with it, click on convert to curves, go back to my color, I want to send that to the front and I've got my color black, go to the top of the screen, click on tools, convert to bitmap, leave everything the way that it is, click on OK, and then if I want to I can drag this over here for later use, I can place this right back on top of my image, make it a little bit smaller, I don't want it to go outside of my image, Select both areas together, go to Arrange, go to Crop, and then Crop to Top Item. Now I can take these again, select them, color fill them white, and I can place them back over here. And there we have it. Now that's uh, two quick ways to scallop in Digital Scrapbook Artist 2. And just so you know, the way that I'm doing it with the brushes, sometimes you'll run into areas where it's not 100% perfect, but it does give you an option. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me. My email address is lovemyzombie at yahoo.ca.